Now, because we're using a liquid marinade, it is, it's going to be important to kind of dry it off as much as you can before you put in the dehydrate. Because if you put it in and it's really, really wet, it's going to take a lot longer for the jerky to dehydrate. So we have some paper towels laid out here. We're just going to take this meat and lay it out on the paper towels, spread it all out. The paper towels on the bottom will, will, will start to absorb the marinade on the bottom of the pieces. And then once that's done, we're ready for the dehydrator. Now, as I mentioned before, we're going to be using our the, West, the new Weston four tray round dehydrator. Um, you know, one of the great things about this, you can see, is pretty small and compact. So compared to using a smoker, you know, it's just it's a lot more portable, a lot more convenient. You know, the other big difference between using a dehydrator and a smoker is when you're using a dehydrator, you're going to be able to remove a lot more of the moisture from the meat than you would when you're using a smoker, and so the jerky's going to last a lot longer. You're going to be able to store it for you know, months at a time as opposed to you know, weeks at a time when you're using a smoker. So you know, the other great thing about this dehydrator is it was th we designed it specifically for jerky. So it's extremely simple and foolproof to use. You, you basically, there's one button, and that's to turn it on. And you basically turn it on, and you can forget about it. So what we're going to do is it comes, like I said, it comes with four trays, and they're stackable. So we're going to take, take them all off but the bottom one, and we're going to lay this out, spread this out on the bottom tray first. And then once that's filled up, we'll take the next tray and fill it up. And as you can see, we're only going to be able to fill up two trays of the dehydrator. So the other great thing about this is if you're not using all the trays, you don't need to use them all. You can just put the lid on the first two. And when you're doing a smaller batch like this, it has, you know, there's less space for, you know, to heat up, and so it's gonna, you're gonna be able to finish your jerky in a quicker amount of time. So again, you're just gonna turn it on. The great thing is you're gonna be able to just Forget about it, come back and check on it every couple hours. And you know what I'll usually do is I'll take, you know, after about four hours or so, if it seems some pieces seem to be like they're starting to get done, I'll take a little bite or take pull, you know, tear it open so you can see if it's actually getting done or not. Um, you know, and then once it's done to your to your liking, you're ready to go. So hopefully that gave you a good idea of how easy it really is to make your own jerky at home. If you need a copy of the recipe or have any questions as you're going through this yourself,